we present virtual cryo network from unpaired data. We can cry out garments when we go to the store, but what if we could virtualize this experience? Our goal is to visualize the reference garments onto the query image. Most current methods require the paired dataset, where each garment is captured multiple times, with and without a human model wearing it, or for multiple poses. Our method learns from a collection of unpaired fashion images. Our approach is based on conditional generative adversarial networks. It takes the reference garments and the query image with their corresponding segmentation maps. The shape network takes these inputs and creates a new segmentation map that depicts the query body with the shape of the transferred garment. Next, we fit this into an appearance network and obtain a photorealistic image. However, from complex patterns, this feedforward approach is not accurate. Therefore, we fine-tune the appearance network. The shape generator inputs are the tensor encoding of the garment's shape and a body model of the query image. After describing the shape network, let's describe the appearance network. The appearance network takes as inputs the encoding of the garment's appearance and the new segmentation map result from the shape generator. This is the texture distribution in our train set. Complicated textures are less common, and some categories, like logos, are general and include a large variety of patterns. This challenges the appearance network learning process. We mitigate this by fine-tuning the network. Now we will describe the appearance refinement step. In order to improve the output of the fit-forward appearance network, we perform the fine-tune step during test phase. In each iteration, we produce a more accurate rendering of the reference garment while generalizing to the core image. We learn from unpaired fashion images, first by applying our segmentation algorithm. Then we train the appearance generator to perform the inverse operation, take the segmentation map and generate a photorealistic image. Similarly, we apply the dense pulse algorithm to provide a body model and train the shape generator to take the body model and output a corresponding segmentation map. During train phase, the appearance generator takes the segmentation map and a learned appearance encoding of each garment separately. Its goal is to recreate the original photorealistic image. This method is inspired by pix to pix HD network. This example shows how a segmentation map with different appearance encoding can generate various realistic images. The shape generator learns from the same train set, where using a body model and the learned shape encoding for each garment, it tries to recreate the original segmentation map. A given body model can be used to generate multiple garment types and shapes by adding the shape encoding as input to the shape generator. We compare our method to a state-of-the-art method called CPV Ton and to our feedforward only approach without appearance refinement. We are able to generate shapes that are different from the original image. We generate new body parts that were not in the original image, and we generate appearance that is significantly improved by performing the refinement stage. Our approach can visualize multiple garments together. It produces natural looking boundaries between the generated garments. This example demonstrates men clothing as well. In the following examples, the shapes of the query garments are different from the reference garments. On the left, we can see failure cases for generating shapes and on the right for appearances. Less common textures, non-frontal images or certain poses can cause artifacts. We evaluated our method by using perceptual metrics and performed the human study. We also did an ablation study for the appearance of finding stage by comparing to the feedforward only approach. To summarize, we present Oviton, a new virtual trial algorithm. It visualizes garments of different types together as a cohesive outfit. It generates intricate texture patterns by own optimization and learns from unpaired collection of 2D fashion images. Thank you.